Hello guys, welcome back. My name is Andrei. In this video, I'll talk about uh, how you could connect a fast API uh, backend with uh, ChatGPT plugin. So let's jump uh, to my desktop. And first of all, this is the GitHub repo for um, our uh, application, which is called uh, Sparrow. And uh, ChatGPT plugin is the is uh, uh, part of the Sparrow and also Sparrow implements uh, backend for this uh, plugin. In general, uh, idea of Sparrow is to implement open source solution for data extraction for enterprise documents. And uh, our ChatGPT plugin is called Receipt Assistant. And with Receipt Assistant, uh, we add uh, additional functionality in the ChatGPT, which uh, allows to upload receipt, uh, process this data through ChatGPT. Uh, store uh, extracted data uh, through the plugin in our encrypted database. Then in the next ChatGPT session, you could load this data, analyze it further, add new receipts, compare receipts together, and so on. And uh, I'll put URL uh, to our GitHub repo below the video. It's open source and you can run it on your own environment and uh, yeah, add additional functionality and so on. So let's jump to uh, PyCharm. And this is the uh, development environment. And if you talk about uh, ChatGPT plugin, first of all, you need to have, uh, uh, if you follow the documentation uh, of, of from OpenAI, then you'll learn that uh, you need to define a manifest file which describes the plugin. Then you need to uh, define um, a structure of the plugin basically a set of uh, instructions, uh, how to call the endpoints, what data comes in, what data comes out, and, and so on. Uh, you can implement uh, ChatGPT plugin uh, with different kinds of languages. With JavaScript, I'm using Python, and I'm following uh, default example for ChatGPT uh, plugin implementation from uh, OpenAI documentation. So I have main script here, and for example, one of them methods uh, add received uh, data to DB and this method is responsible to handle post operation. So when uh, in ChatGPT uh, in the chatbot screen user says that he wants to save uh, processed uh, JSON data with key value pairs, then um, ChatGPT will know that it needs to call this method post data and the method acts as a proxy basically and it will call fast API backend where uh, data will be stored to database. So if I uh, look up for this method uh, definition over here, if I search, uh, yeah, then the, the method name should be slightly different, I think. And if I scroll it up, so this is the zip data. Here, here is the method receive storage DB. Uh, operation ID is add receive data to DB. It's being uh, named like this and this is the uh, receipt storage DB. And if you go over here, then this is the uh, method mapping with post operation. Then we describe parameters, uh, input, output parameters, and so on, and provide descriptions. And basically, based on those descriptions, uh, you should be clear enough to describe each method properly. And those descriptions will be used by ChatGPT to invoke uh, your method, uh, one of your uh, methods uh, from the plugin uh, to do the job. Because uh, like this method is doing post, then there's another method doing get, another method is doing delete and so on. Uh, so ChatGPT is smart enough to understand from the description which method to call on specific user request. Okay, so what we have here, we get uh, data from ChatGPT and we construct uh, we're here using Python request library, we construct the post request and we execute post request and we set timeout to 180 to make sure that uh, we wait uh, some uh, some time uh, in order not to get a timeout uh, from the backend. And there's a certain uh, timeout you can uh, check in ChatGPT documentation that endpoint uh, chat, uh, plugin endpoint must uh, respond in a certain time. So if uh, Operation is processing uh, slow, so uh, this request might expire, and ChatGPT plugin will return the error. Okay, so we, we get uh, we call uh, post over here, and the post travels to uh, Sparrow data, 
So Sparrow Data is uh, another service uh, implemented in this case with Fast API because plugin itself, if you go here, plugin, plugin itself is implemented um, with a um, library called Quart. And I'm using this library because uh, it's the way, basically, uh, the same library is being used in, in documentation. So I'm just not reinventing the wheel and using it for the plugin. But the backend where the logic happens is implemented with fast API. There's an endpoint defined for ChatGPT plugin, this one. And then as soon as this post request comes, then uh, store receive DB method is being invoked, which is mapped with the uh, uh, with the router for this endpoint we get input parameters here check for the uh, for the key if uh, this is the valid request uh, authorized request basically and then we check uh, the content which uh, we got from from the plugin if it's a valid json if not then we will return the error that this is not valid json and uh, this response would come to the chat gpt uh, chatbot and uh, chat gpt will tell the user that uh, you're trying to say save data in a wrong format if the data is correct we call store receipt uh, db data method here and it comes from data utils and over here we using pydantic to validate the data so we construct receipt db model here with chat gpt user receipt id receipt content if there is no validation errors then we get data back as a dictionary uh, we encrypt the content uh, here on the client before sending uh, uh, the content uh, to the database so that in database the content will be stored already encrypted and if someone would get access to the database they will not be able to read uh, uh, the sensitive uh, data because it will be encrypted then uh, here we construct the uh, parameters and we call mongodb uh, we call update one method from um, mongodb motor library in this case and we pass the data uh, and we're using update one uh, this method with absurd true this means if the uh, there is no such record for this um, uh, receipt ID yet in database, then new record will be inserted if uh, record with this receipt ID already exists. This means we want to update the current record and we don't want to create a new one. And the uh, update one method with absurd true uh, updates the existing record in this case. Yeah, and then if it's all fine, then we, we return the result that um, data was uh, inserted and uh, this response uh, comes back to the uh, chat GPT and uh, uh, user is notified that data was successfully saved. Okay, so uh, this is the flow and uh, just to summarize, uh, I, uh, we have a plugin which uh, works with receipts and we're using FastAPI backend to handle uh, requests from chat GPT plugin implemented with Quart and FastAPI backend is responsible uh, for example, to check the uh, data, if it's valid data, then encrypt the data, insert it to the MongoDB, and um, for another request, it's responsible to fetch um, uh, data from DB by receipt ID, then there's another request to delete the data and uh, fetch uh, all the keys, for example, and so on. So FastAPI works great, and it's uh, quite simple to deploy it. So thanks for watching, and see you in the next videos. Bye.